Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, I'm going to show you how we can dual boot Ubuntu together with Windows 10. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to use some Ubuntu and some Linux, uh, Linux operating system as well for, for example, like Open4D machine learning uh, framework and library and stuff like that. So in this video here, I'm going to show you how we can actually like download Ubuntu onto a USB, USB, USB drive. And then we're going to plug the USB drive into the computer and then download Ubuntu. And then we can actually like have this dual boot set up with Ubuntu and Windows 10. But first of all, remember to join the Discord server. I'll link to the down description here. You can come join the channel, chat us about computer vision, deep learning, AI, and so on. You can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small monthly fee. Everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel. Also, if you have some problems in your own project, you can also be a member and, and I can help you out with some of the problems and guide you in the right direction. So thank you guys. So the first thing that we need to do to actually be able to install Ubuntu is to go to Ubuntu's official website. Then we'll go up to the download uh, tab here and then we'll choose the distribution or like the version that we want. So we're just going into Ubuntu desktop and then we have some different kind of versions. Like we're just in this video, we're just going to download Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, which is the latest version of Ubuntu that we're currently using right now. We can actually like, see down here that there will be a newer version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 21.10. It'll come out in mid-22, but I'm going to create another video at that moment, so make sure to hit the subscribe button um, as well. But right now, we're just going to dual boot Ubuntu 20.04 together with Windows 10, so we can actually like, use both operating system on the same computer. It doesn't matter if you have a desktop, laptop, uh, and so on. So here we're just going to hit the download button here. We can see some different kind of like system requirements that we need to actually like be able to install Ubuntu and the Linux distribution. So now right now we're just going to hit download and then we like to like download a, an ISO file to our computer. We will then uh, take that F ISO file, put it over to our USB drive, and then we can just directly go in and boot from that drive and install Ubuntu together with Windows 10 on our computer. So down here we can see that it actually like starts this download of the ISO file. If we just go into the file explorer here, first of all, we just go down to um, to the actual like, USB drive that I have plugged into my computer. We can already see that I have already installed Linux Linux on this USB C drive. So if you have any anything on your USB drive, uh, you just go down here first of all, and then you just format it. So we like to like just scratch everything so we get just get a nice uh, and clean uh, USB drive that we can then install the ISO file on and then download Ubuntu um, the operating system on. And the second thing here that we need, I'll link to all the links here down in the description. So you can go, just go into the description, you can take the link for the Ubuntu uh, download site or like the official website for Ubuntu. And then we're going to use this program here called Rufus. Rufus here, which actually just creates this bootable USB device or like driver um, in an easy way. So we just go in, choose the device that we actually like want to, to, uh, to create uh, or like to make bootable. So we can actually like boot the Linux operating system from that USB drive when we boot up our computer. And we're just going to choose the ISO file that we actually like want to boot from. And then we can just start the whole process. It will do everything for us and we can then just uh, boot from our USB drive after that process has been done. So down here, we're just going to, to download the program. We can just choose this Rufus 3.17. It will download it down to the computer. We can open it up and then I will show you how we can actually like uh, get the ISO file over on our USB drive and then we can actually install Linux or like Ubuntu on our machine here together with Windows 10. So now we're going to install the Ubuntu, uh, the ISO file onto our computer and we have formatted our USB drive and also download Rufus. We'll just open up Rufus here. Then we need to choose a device that we actually like want to, uh, to make bootable with the Ubuntu operating system on. So here we're just going to choose the Ubuntu one here. So I have a 32 gigabyte USB drive. Then we need to go down to the boot selection and these are just default values so you don't have to choose any of them but we're going to take this iso image as the boot selection then we can actually go in and select the, the file that we actually like want to make bootable and this is the download that i just downloaded so we have this ubuntu 20.04 uh, and this is the iso file that we just downloaded from the official uh, ubuntu website so i'm just going to open it here in this program and then we will just choose the partition scheme here um, by itself. We can see the, like, the target system here, so we can actually have this BIOS or uh, UEFI. So these are just the default values. We don't have to do anything. We just need to hit start down here, and then it will actually like, make our uh, USB drive bootable with Ubuntu on, so we can install it when we actually like, boot up our computer again. Here, we're just going to write an ISO image mode here, which is also recommended. Uh, so we just hit OK here, and it will start the whole process of uh, making our USB drive bootable. So 
now we can see the status here down here so right now it's just copying the iso files that we downloaded for ubuntu onto our usb drive here we're 70 percent done here but before we can actually like boot up and install ubuntu on an on, on a hard drive or like on our ssd we need to make sure that there's actually like some free space uh, that we can install it onto so if you go down here to the search bar and then we can just hit disk management so we can actually like here we can create or format a hard disk partition so we're going to set up the different kind of partitions uh, that we need to install ubuntu on so right now we can see that i have these different kind of partitions on my computer so i have two discs where on the first disc here i have my c drive which is where i've installed windows then i have another disc here which is my d drive um, and i've also installed ubuntu on these partitions so we're going to erase those and this is also the process if you actually like want to erase ubuntu uh, later on you're just going to the disk management here and delete the partition where i've actually installed ubuntu on so here we can see that i have this um, partition here with 32 gigabytes where i've installed ubuntu on and then also have another partition here which is actually like the swap partition that we're going to use as well when we're installing um, ubuntu and linux but right now we're just going to in here and then we're going to delete ubuntu so we're just going to delete this partition and we will then free up some space we're going to do the same thing here with the swap partition after that so now we can see we have 32 gigabytes unallocated we're going to do the same thing here with our uh, six gigabyte swap partition that we have as well over here to the left we can see we're still at 80 percent so now we're actually like have around 40 gigabytes unallocated here on the computer and then we can actually like go in and use this free space to install linux on so right now when you're doing this partitioning you actually like need to make sure like how much storage do you need uh, for your uh, linux uh, or like your ubuntu um, partition on your computer so if you're going to download a lot of programs in ubuntu you will probably need more than 40 gigabytes if you have 250 uh, like 56 gigabyte hard disk or ssd you can maybe choose like half of it or it really depends on uh, how much you need but one of the most important things is that when we're actually installing ubuntu on a partition we're doing it on the same partition um, as as like our home partition so we're not splitting up the different kind of file systems on ubuntu because if you do that and just have one partition where only the operating system on then the home directory and when we install things to our home directory we'll just like take up the space uh, real really fast and we don't really can we can't really move our home um, partition onto another file system or like another partition so you should choose the, the number of gigabytes that you need for your Ubuntu, both the, the file system and also for the operating system. And then we're going to take like around six to eight gigabytes uh, for swap memory. So when we, if we actually like run out of memory, we'll use the swap space on our SSD or hard disk. Um, um, where we're actually just going to use the swap. So we're actually like swapping out content from the memory and the swap space. So now we can see that it just says ready here in the status and we have actually like now made a bootable device with Ubuntu on our USB drive. So if I go down here again to the file explorer and we go down to our USB drive, we can now see all the things here that are just formatted and deleted from my USB drive is now installed on it here again. We can see we have some different kind of files here. We don't need to know anything about these. Now we're just going to close, uh, like shut down the computer again, take the USB drive and boot up from that. So you need to make sure like how do we actually like, boot up uh, your computer um so either hit if if 11 or if 12 depending on your computer so you need to google that um how you can actually like choose the bootable device when you're booting up your computer so right now we have all everything installed we just need a usb drive we need this rufus to actually like, be able to download the iso file or the ubuntu operating system on that we download from the official website then we just made these uh, partition, partitions here. So right now I just have four gigabytes that I'm going to install Ubuntu on when we're actually like going to install it after we rebooted our uh, computer. So while the PC here is booting, rebooting, we actually have to press F11. And when we press F11, we will go into the boot device here that we can choose from. We can see that I'm going to choose this Ubuntu uh, installation where we've actually like used this USB device to install Ubuntu or like uh, this is our uh, USB device that we're going to install Ubuntu from here we're going to choose ubuntu and then when we get into these different kind of settings and after we boot it up we would like to like get into the installation so when the computer has booted up we actually get into this installation screen we hit install ubuntu then we can choose the different kind of like keyboard layout that we want to we're just going to choose english now we're getting to the installation for the updates and software and we're just going to go with the normal installation and then we also got some other options where we can download the updates while uh, installing ubuntu or some third-party software uh, if we want to do that as well while we're actually like downloading ubuntu to our machine 
So here we're going to choose the installation type that we actually like need. So we can either like install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager, but we're going to choose something else because we created these partitions. And then we're going to actually like um, install Ubuntu of the partitions that were created. So then we just drill down here to the partition that we created with the feed space. We hit the plus sign so we can actually like create a new partition. And then we're choosing 35 gigabytes for, uh, for our Ubuntu operating system, but also the home file system. So we're going to use the logical partition here. And then we also need this home mount point. So we're going to have our home, uh, home like file system together with our operating system on that partition that we just created. So the second partition we need is the actual like the swap area uh, that we talked about when we created the partitions in Windows. So again, we just hit the plus sign, create a new partition with the rest of the memory that we have left. And now we're just using the swap area instead of the extended for uh, file format. So now we're just creating these two partitions here. As we can see, we have the swap and we also have the home directory or like a root directory and our uh, Ubuntu operating system installation. So now we actually like need to go down to device for bootloader installation and we need to choose uh, where we actually like want to, uh, to install Ubuntu or like the operating system on and that will be the partition with 35 gigabytes. So now we're just choosing where, where you're from. You just choose that, you hit continue and you get some other different kind of um, options that you need. So you need to fill in your name, your computer's name, you need to pick a username and also a password. And then you have these options if you want to log in automatically or if you want to require a password every time you log in. So now I'm just handing in this information and I hit continue. And then you'll just get up this installation here where we just have this progress bar down at the bottom. Just wait for it to be to be finished. It will just install the whole Ubuntu operating system and set up the file, uh, file system and also install third party software if you chose that under the installation. So after the installation is done, we can just hit this restart now. It will restart the computer and boot up again. So now it's rebooting the computer and after it rebooted, uh, we will actually like get up the screen where it just says like, please remove the uh, USB drive from your computer and press enter. So I press enter now and it will now boot up the operating system. And right now it is just booting up in Windows because that is the default operating system I have on this dual boot uh, setup. So we will now open up Windows. But when you're actually like booting up your computer, you should hold down like F11 or F12, depending on which computer you're on. And then you will just get up the boot menu where you can actually like choose uh, what drive or like what SSD or hard disk that you want to boot from. So right now I'm just shutting down again. And this is also just to verify that we have actually like uh, have this dual boot setup where we can both use Ubuntu and Windows together. So after we reboot the computer again, we hit F11. So we get up this uh, boot menu and then we can actually like choose if we want to boot with the Windows boot manager or Ubuntu. I'm just going to choose Ubuntu here. So we will actually like open up Ubuntu and see the installation that we just did from the USB device. So now we have actually like this dual boot setup where we can choose Ubuntu or Windows when we're actually like booting up our computer by holding down F11 or um, F12. So now we're just booting up Ubuntu here so we can actually like play around with it and see that we have now both uh, a dual boot setup where we can use Windows and Ubuntu. Here the first time you open up you just have to go over some different kind of like default settings. You can also install some apps and so on. But now we're at the home screen. We have Ubuntu installed together with Windows on our computer. So we have this dual boot setup where we can choose between the two different kind of operating systems. We can see all the files, like we have the file system here. We have the apps over here to the left and also uh, these different different kind of default apps that is installed because we chose that under installation and also the third party devices. If you're using Nvidia or something like that, it will install the drivers for that too. But this is the desktop. We have now installed Ubuntu and Windows together. So now I've actually created this dual boot here with Ubuntu and Windows on the same machine. Doesn't matter if you're on desktop, laptop, and so on. Now we can actually just choose, choose which operating system that you want to boot when you're actually like booting up your computer. So this is really nice that we can have both operating system running on the same computer and you can just switch between those two. So thank you guys for watching this video here and remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. And also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. I'm currently doing these different kinds of tutorials within deep learning, computer vision, and so on. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else and I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.